Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about the upcoming iOS 16. It's very close to being released on its first beta and it should be really exciting and of course some really interesting features. So in this video, we're going to talk about everything you need to know regarding iOS 16 and we finally have some information regarding this new software. First of all, let's talk about the bad news. The features that I think you should not expect to see on iOS 16. And first of all, we're talking about a redesign of iOS. Now, a lot of people think that there will be a total redesign of iOS. Don't expect that. That's a feature that probably is not coming to iOS 16. Most likely we will have a few UI changes and you can expect also changes on the icons of iOS 16. You can see this right here. This is a theme that I have installed here on my device. And this is what the icons on iOS 16 will most likely look like. They will of course be the same as the icons that we have on Mac OS with that 3D touch. And you can see what they look like here. They actually look pretty good on iOS and of course on the iPhone screen. And I believe these look much, much better than the current icons that we have on iOS 15, which are totally flat. And this will give your device a much nicer look. So according to redesign, this is what you can expect redesigned icons not completely redesigned but they will have this 3d touch on them but don't expect an overall the redesign of ios 16 at all a lot of people also mention split screen on ios don't expect that either i don't believe apple will add that feature to ios that might be useful maybe on safari where you could just like browse two websites at the same time maybe with a split screen of the tabs here but don't expect apple to add that feature to ios and have the ability to actually use two apps at the same time just like you do with the ipad that of course is better on the ipad of course with a bigger screen but on iphones they have a really small screen and i don't think that will actually be practical at all and i don't expect apple to add actually add that feature to iOS anytime soon. The great news about iOS 16 is that we finally have the release date of iOS 16 beta 1. And based on this release date of beta 1, we can also predict the release date of the public beta and then of course the public release as well. So WWC 2022 is starting on June 6th. That of course is the day that Apple will release the first beta of iOS 16. Now that should happen on Monday, June 6th, right here we have iOS 16 beta one. And of course, after the event, which will start at 10 a.m. Pacific time as usual, of course, it will be a virtual event. You can expect Apple to release beta one after the event. Probably the event will be somewhere around two hours and then around 12 p.m. Pacific time, you can expect iOS 16 beta one to be released to the devs. Of course, that is for devs. There will be a public beta as well. Now, according to the previous years, and of course the release schedule that Apple has followed through the last years, you can expect the public beta to be released at around three weeks from the dev beta. So right here, if we get, of course we will get on June 6th beta, one of iOS 16 to the dev, so you can expect Apple to release the public beta somewhere around June, like maybe 28th or 29th, like three weeks after the release of the first beta to the devs of iOS 16. So expect Apple to do that. And then of course the final release should happen in September. Now last year it was towards the end of September. So this year probably the same as well. So in my opinion, it might be September 19th or 26th. These are the two dates you should keep in mind if you're expecting, of course, to install iOS 16 on your device when it gets to the public and you don't install the public beta, then expect Apple to release it on the 19th or 26th of September, of course, if everything goes to schedule. Now that we have the release date of iOS 16 beta 1, what can we expect from this update? Now, interestingly, this year we didn't have any leaks at all. Maybe like one or two, this one right here, which of course these are not confirmed, these are leaks, and we can choose to trust or not these sources, but they look quite legitimate to me. So this right here is like a screenshot of what is called, it's actually codenamed 
InfoShack and this shows interactive widgets on iOS 16. And we'll have to keep in mind that all these images, even if they're true, they are taken on very early stages and of course there will be a lot of changes to these. So this is what we see right here according to Leaks Apple Pro on Twitter. This is what the interactive widget should look like on iOS 16. Now, this is one of the features that will most likely make iOS 16. And you can see all right here, here we have a really, really good example of this. This is a widget that you can actually use right now on your device with the widget app and you can see how actually it works. So here we have the calendar, we have the health settings and we have the weather. And this is what actually interactive widgets should be like. If I just tap on weather right there, you can see it will show me all the weather information. Tap back, it will go back. Or if I tap on the calendar, it will show me the calendar, all my tasks and events are right there. Or I can do the same, let's say with settings, you can see I have everything here, the carrier, Bluetooth, we have battery percentage, volume percentage, seller data, download, Wi-Fi downloads and all that. This is just like a really good example of how the interactive widgets should be and hopefully they coming to iOS 16. That would be really, really interesting. And of course, we'll make a lot of changes to the home screen of your iPhone and how you use your iPhone on a daily basis. Now, another thing you can expect is redesigned notifications on iOS 16 and a total actually redesign of the lock screen. This was actually a rumor that was expected to come to iOS 15, but then it basically the news got out that it has been pushed for iOS 16. So we can expect a redesign of the lock screen and also a redesign right here on the notifications. And you can expect also to have like pin notifications, of course, for the apps that you use the most or are most important to you. You can do that, of course, on the notification center. Again, these are just rumors because as far as leaks go, we don't have that much for iOS 16. And that, of course, makes this update even more interesting. Another thing we have here is this image and this is for iPadOS 16 and it shows a stack of files right there on the dock of iPadOS 16. That's just like the same that we have on Mac OS. Now this will most likely be a feature that will work only with the Apple Pencil but it should come to iPad OS 16 and should be really, really interesting. Now, what I would expect Apple to do on iOS 16 as well, probably have some kind of feature that maybe allows you to have like different users on your iPhone or even iPad. And hopefully they will give us also an option on the settings to manage the AirPods firmware or maybe even an app for the AirPods, maybe to find the AirPods and update them directly from an app. That would be super, super useful. And last but not least, we're talking about the earliest leak regarding iOS 16. That's the support devices. iOS 16 is dropping support for the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, and the original SE. These are the oldest devices that are currently supported by iOS 15. But of course, iOS 15 didn't change that much from iOS 14. So Apple decided to support those devices with the extra features of iOS 15. But now it looks like now is the end for those devices and they won't be supported by iOS 16. So that is basically it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, iOS 16 will bring a lot of new features and changes to iOS and make it a bit more interesting. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.